Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I want to remind everybody that for all intents and purposes, I am essentially the equivalent of a commenter on someone else's YouTube channel when it comes to the lawsuit between DeCastro and Abrams et al. I don't have access to the communications that Kate has had with Wish, where Kate has expressed her desires, her goals for the litigation. I don't have Wish's experience, not just as an attorney, but with the Federal District Court for Massachusetts. I haven't done as many hours of research into the various issues associated with this case as Wish has. I want to remind everybody that while I would have done a 12b6 motion, that not only Wish, who again has more experience than I do, but also Josh Garrick, who is Josh Abrams' attorney, who also has more experience than I do, both him and Wish decided to file answers with counterclaims. That indicates that they know something that I don't know. You should be aware that I don't know everything and that I am not infallible by any stretch of the imagination. Search Murby's Mia Culpa, you'll find a plethora of them. I'm wrong a lot. So, so bear that in mind. My criticism of Wish is the criticism of somebody in a YouTube comment section criticizing the content creator, and I get that a lot. So, I... I I often wonder, you know, whose video did you watch that you're commenting on? I address this or whatever. And I have to remember, I have to remember that the relationship that my commenters have to me is essentially the same relationship that I have to wish. He hasn't asked for my input. He hasn't asked for my advice. And I'm giving advice without having all of the facts that Wish has and all of the experience that Wish has and all of the research that Wish has. So I just want to caution everybody that there is a, there is a substantial chance that my analysis is wrong and that in the end, Wish is going to have made the right choices or the choices that a person who's more experienced than I am, who's smarter than I am, who has more knowledge of the facts than I do, would have made given those circumstances. I might, I might be getting lucky. I might not be good. I might just be getting lucky. Remember that. With that said, I still think that it is that considering the cat, well, again, I don't know all the facts and I just look at, I'm looking at the Castro wants to drain everybody of money. So the way you quote win is to get the lawsuit resolved, spending as little money as possible. That way you're not drained of money, right? Cause that's what the Castro wants. He also wants you off the internet. That's not going to happen. I'm going to seek injunctive relief. That's stupid. Um, so when I'm looking at it and I'm saying, oh, 12 B six drop, wish, get a less expensive attorney, split the cost with, De with, uh, Abrams and, and that will prevent De Castro from winning. I'm looking at it somewhat myopically because I don't know Kate's goal. I assume Kate's goal is to get the, the lawsuit resolved in her favor as quickly and as cheaply as possible. That might not be the case. I need to accept that. And 
I need to make you, my viewers, aware of that because I don't want you thinking that that I don't want you to be misled by my analysis. My analysis is biased based on my perception of what the goal of the litigation is, based on my less experience, based on my less knowledge of the facts, based on my less research than what Wish is, Wish has done. So bear that in mind. I just want to make sure everybody's aware of that. I could be wrong. I don't want to drag this out anymore. Thank you for watching. I wholeheartedly hope Kate wins. I'm pulling for Kate. I have never offered to represent DeCastro in this matter. I want to be clear about that too. I know people say, oh, you you offered to represent DeCastro. Yeah, against Blue Bacon's bullshit uh, protection order. Not not against this. I this this is bullshit on on Chili's part. But against bullshit against Chili, sure, I would have represented him if I was licensed to practice in uh, Washington. So again, like my bias is for Kate in this matter. My bias is for Kate because Kate is the aggrieved party and Chili's the asshole. So based on my bias, I've come to the conclusions that I've come to. Bear my bias in mind when you're judging my analysis. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.